Could viruses lead us to life on other worlds? The very first life is thought to have appeared on Earth up to 4 billion years ago, possibly only a few hundred million years after the Earth was formed. The last universal common ancestor of all life, or Luca, is thought to have appeared around this time. eventually giving rise to all life on Earth. Now researchers know a lot about LUCA by examining how genes and DNA change in species over time and working out the rate of change over this time. Virus is different to all other life forms. In fact, they're not really alive at all. One thing we have learned is that viruses have played an important role in the rise of life and evolution. virus is nothing more than a fragment of DNA or RNA. This genetic material is wrapped in a protein coat known as a capsid. What's the difference? DNA almost always appears in a double-stranded form, usually in what we call a double helix. RNA is slightly different chemically and usually appears in a single strand of form. It was most likely the first genetic material on Earth. Moving on. Viruses reproduce by injecting their genetic material into the cells of other organisms. They basically hijack those cells, forcing them to build more viruses. When the cell becomes too full of newly made viruses, it ruptures, releasing more viruses out into the world. Viruses infect all other life forms on Earth. Even bacteria have their own viruses. Now, this ability to inject genetic material is what makes viruses so important for life on Earth. Often a life form can acquire new traits when a virus gives us some new DNA is picked up along the way. In this way, viruses have been one of the major forces driving evolution on Earth. They are abundant too. Viruses have been detected in the stratosphere, higher up than bacteria which have been found in clouds. It's been estimated that approximately 2 billion viruses fall upon every square metre of the Earth every day. What is beginning to interest some astrobiologists about viruses is the possibility that they may exist in space. Researchers over the years have observed a phenomenon known as self-assembly in regards to viral particles. Virions have been observed forming via the simple interactions between molecules as they stick or are repelled from each other. The genetic material attains its capsid shell when certain proteins spontaneously group and assemble themselves around it. This tendency of structures and objects to self-organise and assemble in the natural world appears all around us and it is this that lends weight to the notion that things like proteins, DNA and yes possibly viruses could form in space and contribute to the appearance of life elsewhere. After all, self-assembly is responsible for the appearance of our solar system as the process of accretion led to the suns and planets coalescing from a vast cloud of interstellar gas and dust. Now, on Earth we have a little thing called gravity, which is acted upon every single living thing on the planet. Who can say what form space-borne viruses could take under differing gravities or no gravity at all? It's an interesting thing to think about. Give me your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, viruses are a realistic prospect as a bio-indicator. Whilst it may not be possible to detect them from Earth, yet, should a probe ever one day visit an exoplanet or pass through a region of space rich in organic molecules, detecting the presence of more complex life could be as easy as sampling a teaspoon of water. Since viruses cannot reproduce outside of more complex cells, Finding them would be a sure sign that higher life exists. 
it's definitely worth exploring. Thanks for watching Astrobiological, giving you the universe of plain human. If you like that idea, there's plenty more plain human on the way. Just look at me. Seriously, astrobiology is super interesting and it'd be great if you subscribed, liked and shared this video. I'll see you next time.